What is happening, people? Welcome back to Pokemon Sword. We are currently in the wild area, and we're going to do a little bit of exploring up until we get to that big spooky-looking building over there. What was that in this water? Just a Gyarados hanging out. Also, hit an item right here. A pungent root, one of the many ingredients that can be used for cooking at your camp. Though carelessly picked, these herbs can add a fragrant accent to a dish. Nice, so we can add that to uh, our next time we cook. Also, there's a Galarian Lanoon right here just running in circles, or squares, I guess. This guy's just getting his exercise. We haven't caught one of those things yet, but we do have a Galarian uh, Zigzagoon. Maybe we'll hold off on that for a little while. I would like to get an Obstagoon at some point. There is a Galisopod, there's Noibats, Bronzor, so much cool stuff. I'm excited to just kind of run around and see uh, what this grass has got for us. But we should also run around and collect these Watts from these things. Um, we're just going to try to see how many we can freaking get. I have a decent amount already. But I this is a huge patch of grass, my god. So far, I haven't seen anything anything too new. Oh, there's a Bronzong over here, which is sweet. Also, we're going to grab some Watts from you. We haven't actually done anything with any of the ones that have the beaming lights coming from, which there's actually one right there. So we're going to have to go check out what that's all about. So let's just make our way over that way, kind of see what we can find on the way there, I suppose. We could also probably find some interesting things. Whoa, what is this? Hold up. Yo, it's that one thing that we actually did see this on Twitter. Pokemon uh, did post this before the game came out. So this is the thing that like launches fish, right? It totally is. A Cramorant. Interesting. So assuming this thing is just flying type, flame charge is not very effective. So actually, no, we have battled against one of these things, haven't we? Um, I don't really want to kill you. So how should I go about weakening this thing? Hmm, let's go inside. I think it's a water flying type. Hmm, let's go into Tootsie. No idea what this thing's gonna do. I have seen pi uh, videos that people are posting on Twitter, though, of this thing like throwing Pikachus at people, and I'm interested to see if it's gonna do that. I know they use Dive. But we're gonna see what happens here. It's just gonna actually water gun. So it is actually raining, which boosts the power of water moves, which is kind of annoying. This thing's gonna spit up but fail. I'm assuming this thing uses Stockpile then. Alright, so two plucks is actually going to get this thing into range. We're for sure going to have to catch this boy. Alright, as long as we don't crit. I wonder if these things are rare. We haven't seen any of these in the wild area up until now. It is time to bust out the Great Balls. Come on, buddy. Join the squad. I don't know if I'm going to use you on my team, but it would obviously just be cool to catch this thing. And damn it. I'm just going to continue to try to spit up. This thing's face looks... Like, he has no idea what the hell's, hell's going on. He's like, is this, is this guy throwing balls at me? Hello? Imagine what a weird sensation that would be, getting sucked into a tiny ball. And then just popping out, and you're like, what the hell just happened? Okay, so that's going to kill our freaking Squire, which is annoying, but we can just revive it up. It's fine. We're going to go to Dexter. And just because we know you can't hurt us too bad. We got you into red, though. Please, stay in my Great Ball. I, I can't afford, I can't get any damn Ultra Balls. The Great Balls are going to have to do... This thing is level 27. You could add this right to your team and it would fit right in with the levels, which is actually pretty cool. Too many options in this game, though, man. It just does not want to be caught. Well, it's going to Fury Attack, so we haven't seen it do its, uh, its, like, signature thing. I don't know. This thing has some type of interesting ability. I'm not sure exactly even what it is, but I guess we will soon find out. Come on. This is it right here. Yes! We got it. The anxiety between the shakes. It's pretty damn ridiculous. All right. Very cool. Nugget grows a level, and so does Snowball. Barney is also at 26. We should definitely need to grow that, need to grow that boy some levels. But anyway, let's take a look at the dex entry. It is a flying water type so strong that it can knock out some opponents in a single hit, but it also may forget what it's battling mid-fight. <laughs> Interesting. Well, we're going to name you Nigel. Just because you're actually female. That's not, not going to really work. Whatever. We're not going to use Nigel anyway. At least for now. We're going to send to the box. Had to catch that thing, though. Anytime we come across new stuff, got to catch him. All right. Got some decent lag on the video there. That was weird. All right. Big old beware. Is that a house over there? That is a house way over there. Also, there's another one. I really want... I wish, wish I could freaking surf. I think it's going to take a while for us to be able to use our bike. Yo, a Jellicent in the water. 
Young Pringles boy. And also, what the hell is that? Is that a corefish? Or I mean not corefish, quillfish. Definitely a little quillfish. What's up, ballin'? Nice. Right, so we can't get to that red thingy, unfortunately. But uh yo, seismitoad just just strolling by. Okay, what is up with these damn things? I never did I've never clicked on one of you with the lights on. There's energy pouring out from the den. You gained 300 watts. And so we got ourselves a raid, a max raid battle is I believe what this is. We can invite others. Um, so we're searching. Am I on? Am I like online right now? I have no. I have no idea what's going on. But we're about to. I'm about to get to the bottom of this. I don't know. What Pokemon even is that? It looks like a Purloin or something. Should I just go for it myself? I thought they gave you NPCs to battle with in this. I'm gonna switch Pokemon. Let's let's use uh, let's use Dexter. Also, you'll notice in my box I have a ton of Wooloos. And that is because I was doing some shiny hunting <laughs> last night on Twitch. Nobody wants to join my battle, apparently. Is there a way to get NPCs? Hold on, let's quit. We're gonna stop looking for participants. But I wanna freaking do this. If I say don't invite others, we just do it by ourselves. Some trainers will join the battle. Okay. So, oh, I didn't switch my team. Well. This will be cool to see. So we have NPCs with us. And uh, it is just a purloin. This thing is freaking massive. And doing our first max raid battle. This is interesting. Oh my god. One of the guys has a Magikarp. What? Hello? <laughs> so we are going to be able to Dynamax ourselves. Um, this should be interesting to see how this freaking works. We're just going to go for a max Rockfall. Rock this guy's got a Halucha. So hopefully we just high jump this thing a couple times. Not the most interesting Pokemon to do our first max raid, but I still just want to see how this how this goes down. How much HP does this thing have? Like, what level are you supposed to be? I suppose we could have done this the very first time uh, we came across the the wild area, but we never ended up going up to one of the ones that had the beams of light. So Weavile's gonna slash it. All right. So this thing definitely not very bulky as the Halucha Feather Dance is it. Really? Why couldn't you just use a fighting move? That would have been great. The Magikarp has Hydro Pump? Holy shit, this lady's got the most OP Magikarp of all time. And we're just gonna max rock fall you. And that is gonna do a lot. Almost knocks it out. Interesting. I kind of want to do another one of these that does set up the Sandstorm as well. Max rock fall, rock fall does. And this thing's gonna max darkness. Does that attack all of us? How does this work? My controller is vibrating like crazy. I Special defense drops, and uh, all right, that was so it's showing people choosing their moves. But since they're NPCs, it's real quick. He does get hit by the sandstorm. Not really too big of a deal. Uh, this purloin is going to go down. It's unfortunate that none of these NPCs uh, Dynamax themselves, but this thing is going to explode. Throw a Pokeball now, so we have a chance to catch this thing. Uh, one thing to note about max raid battles is you actually have a good chance to get higher IV Pokemon from these, I believe. So people are finding. Um, like really strong Pokemon, you could do like a Flygon max raid, and you can basically get some battle ready IV ones pretty easily. So that is definitely a benefit. We're throwing a huge Pokeball at this thing, also. That actually looks sick. The slowest shakes, though, and we have caught it. So we got our first max raid Pokemon. And that was actually interesting. I'm glad, glad we stumbled across one of these boys. Well then. Caught ourselves a purloin. I just hit next on X. I didn't even see what that freaking screen said. So data's gonna be out of the Pokedex. We're not gonna give you a nickname. We're just gonna send you right to the box. But at least we got to see what that was all about, I suppose. Super cool. Well, continuing on past the Seismitoad. We're gonna have to go check out what oh Jesus, the Seismitoad will Seismitoad was coming after me. But let's go see what's going on with this house. The one house in the wild area. There is another Noibat. Some crazy rock formations over there. There's another one of these things. I wonder how ran like, is it just completely random which ones have max raids at them? All right, what's going on up here? Aha, I see you have a bike, young sir. Well, there's a fantastic little game called the Rotom Alley that I would love, just love to see you participate in. What would you like to do? Spend my watts the Rotom Alley, a makeover, improve my bike, be a makeover. Let's, let's try, you wanna ch change the color of your outfit. Oh, nice, so you can change, uh, Fire type color. I guess it's gonna change my bike outfit. 
Jolly good, jolly good indeed. You picked a wonderful color. Well, let's see what we look like now. Was, wasn't I already red? I don't know. We're not going to mess with that for much, too much. Hello, this is a wild area branch of the Pokemon Nursery. We're just a capable, as capable as the nursery on Route 5. Nice, there's d double nurseries. That is awesome. We're not going to leave any Pokemon. Um, but it's cool to know that we can do that. Anyway, let's see what Rotom Rally is. Where do you want to go? Oh, they'll actually uh, just kind of teleport you. So, it's just a daycare. And that is good to know. I wonder if there's anything crazy over here. So far, the only new Pokemon was young Nigel. What is that small thing? Oh, it's another one of the little baby boys. Yo, so you can actually find these things in the wild. I thought that they were just going to be gift Pokemon, but apparently Toxel can be found in the wild. That's actually pretty cool. This would be a great one to shiny hunt. Yo, this one's level 29. What the hell? I kind of want to catch this one. Why is this one so high leveled? Damn, the Pokemon on this in this wild area are no freaking joke. Let's hit it five times and just knock you out just for some experience. But I did not expect okay, it three times. Did not expect you to be so high level. I'm pretty sure it evolves. Oh, we get the flame body. Pretty sure it evolves at 30. So if you catch this Toxel, you can literally. I kind of want to. I kind of want to catch this one. Hold up. What is? What is Barney looking like in terms of nature? I don't know if this thing is. It's definitely a, a special attacker. We're quiet. Should we try to catch this thing and just see what nature it is? I mean, it only needs. It's definitely. It, we're doing it, bro. Level 29. We only need to grow you one level. I'm sorry, Barney. You were a gift, but we're, we're using our own that we caught. If I can catch it before the burn damage kills it, I guess that is. Let me have you. Nice. <laughs> All right. Toxel was cut. So, let's see what you are, friend. We are going to give you a nickname, and guess what? You are female. And we're going to name you Barna. <laughs> so, not Barney. You're now Barna. We're going to add this to our party, and we're going to switch you with other Barney. Hate to do it to you, buddy, but uh, we found a higher level, so that's gonna have to. It's gonna have to do for now. Let's check this thing out. So, it has. This one has static. Did that. Did Barney have static? I do not think it did. Nuzzle Growl, Flail, and Acid. You are adamant nature. Ah, oh, that actually. That's actually kind of unfortunate. I think this thing's more of a special attacker. We got an adamant one. Well, damn. That's actually a bummer. The good news is what we can do... I'm not going to use the adamant one. What we can do here is you can actually hit R to go to the boxes. And then we can just grab Barney right back. So, yeah, I'm putting Barna there. Maybe I'm incorrect, and later on when this thing evolves, it's more of a physical attacker. Who knows? I guess we could, tr I guess we could try to catch one more and see if we get a better nature. If this thing's level 29, I'd rather just have a level 29 one. All right, Nugget. Also, how crazy would that be if this one was shiny? It is indeed raining. This one's level 29 as well. All right, we're going to freaking... We're going to hope we get like four hits with Rock Blast because that would actually be perfect. Nope. Three. Three, please. Don't kill it. Yes, perfect. Knocks it right down into range. Carcoal knew exactly what we we're trying to do here. We get, unfortunately, nuzzled. But it is fine. We're going to catch this one. We are definitely taking our time this episode. Just trying to do as much as possible um, and a lot of the episodes like this when we're just kind of doing random shenanigans and not really getting a whole lot done but just kind of messing with the wild area and stuff we will be doing longer ones so sprinkling in some longer episodes I think is never a bad idea come on great ball let me get you buddy and please be um, modest that would be amazing if I got an adamant one and a modest one I could have a freaking physical and a special attacker. Also, my team is taking a beating here. Come on, Great Ball. We caught the last one nice and easy. That last one was burned, I guess. But And click, please. Fuck. You little baby dinosaur bastard. Let me have you. So, Flail is going to activate the Flame Body. So, now if we don't catch this within the next two turns, or actually, we have to get it this now, I think it can take one more burn damage. 
But it should make it easier to catch, though. Let's get it in this great ball, please. Also, I need to stock up on more balls. I'm assuming we're going to be able to get Ultra Balls relatively soon. We're getting to the point where Pokemon in the wild are around level 30, so we've got to be getting Ultra Balls soon. And we are going to get it, thanks to the Flame Body Burn. Nice. So, let's take a look at this one. We are going to give you a nickname, of course. This one is a male again. Guess what? You're being named Barney as well. I'm sticking with that theme. The big purple dinosaur. Alright, we're going to add you to a party. Sorry, other Barney. This one needs one level to evolve. I think. Watch it get to level 30, and there's probably some crazy shit you need to do to get these things to evolve, but let's take a look at it now. So, level 5, or not level 5, it has 5 HP, this boy about dead as hell. This one has static, and it is, oh my god, it's another adamant one. Are you serious? Why are you adamant too? Jesus, that's annoying as shit. Well, it's meant to be. We're just using the original Barney. We were not meant to get a good natured one, so... Sticking you there. And, uh, whoa, there's a Zigzagoon right up on me. My god. Why are you stalking me, little buddy? Tis raining, I'm aware. Alright, I'm actually wearing a freaking... I'm wearing a sweatshirt in my room, and it is hot, so we're gonna have to go ahead and take this off. Watch something run at me. Oh, no. Stuff. Well, no, I don't have my hand on the controller. There we go. Got away. <laughs> but I'm taking my hoodie off. Alright, we're good. I don't know why it's so hot in my room. Alright, yo, this guy just came out of nowhere. I did not see you, camper. Hey there, found a bit of a rare item here in the wild area. You want it? Only 100 watt. Yeah, we're doing it. Let's see what he's got. It doesn't even tell us what it is, but it's 5 EXP candies extra small. Uh, which is actually kind of good. We can level something up if you get like a level 1 Pokemon and use those. Uh, it'll get it up to like level 9, which is kind of cool. Also, these guys are just all over the place. They're freaking multiplying. Hey, all right, we're brothers known as the Digging Duo. Digging up treasure here, see? Got a fair bit of luck finding us here. If that gets us to spot us some watts, we'll dig you up some handy treasures for your adventure. Hmm. Let me tell you, I have no lack of stamina, but when it comes to skill, my brother's the best. Want me to dig you up some treasure? It costs you only 500. Hmm, that's a lot. I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna figure out what you can actually get from those dudes. But you probably get some pretty cool shit. We're gonna grab 50 from there. And, uh, it is time to continue. We're gonna switch up the lead. Not the best having the fire type in the rain anyway. Let's put, let's put old Sir Fetched in front. Because that dude, I love me some Sir Fetched. It's another one of those, uh, one of them Nigels. Which would probably be a male one that would be better to name Nigel, but I'm sticking with it. What do we got over here? We have Sneasel. Let's see, what is this? Oh, it's a freaking, hey, it's a Cub Chew. We have not seen a Cub Chew yet. With this gross little icy snot coming from his nose. Such a weird Pokemon. We might as well kill you just because we know... Damn, this thing is level 30. The wild Pokemon are higher level than my team. I don't even have anything this high level. But you must die. Rock Smash just about knocks it knocks it out because we didn't get our damn crit. Come on, Chiding. What are we paying you for, buddy? He's going to use Hail, which it's already hailing, so... Now we're in a snowier area, or at least a colder area. It's not snowy, it's, it's hailing, but... Gubchu goes down. We also saw a Sneasel in the grass there as well. Interesting. Gonna grab some watts from you. I would like to find another one of the max raid battles, but... It does not look like there's any... Any that are too close. Unfortunately. Hey, some Golits! Nice. You can get yourself a Golurk if you want, that boy. That boy made it. Also, there's an Unpheasant flying right there. How do you battle the ones that are flying? I don't really want that thing, so I'm gonna not mess with it, but... Interesting. What's up, Breeder? I'm crazy strong and flush with cash. Why won't anyone battle me? How about you? Dare to take me on? Hmm, sure. This actually might be a tough one, because they give, they give you a prompt to say yes or no, so... Chloe here, probably gonna destroy me. Oh, you got a Raboot! Nice! So she actually has... She got a starter as well. Uh, Raboot, assuming just pure fire type. This thing is level 30. And actually kind of scary. We're going to see what it's going to go for. Flame charge. I should have just sent in Drizzile. But we have faith in Chiding here. Two rock smashes are going to do the job as long as I get another crit. 
Come on now, buddy. Also, both getting hurt by the hail, which is heckin' annoying. Look at the size of those hail balls, my god. It's fucking Pokeball-sized hail out here. That would hurt. Come on, get a crit, buddy. Yeah, Raboot goes down. I like how Raboot has a little, a little like, kangaroo pocket. Just a fantastic design. Jadayton grows a level, Dexter, and Barney as well. It's alright, our own, our own Barney's getting there. Ooh, we're trying to learn U-Turn. Uh, which actually could be interesting. Let's get rid of Tearful Look. We could use U-Turn rather than switching out. If we know we're faster, we can get a little bit of extra damage. That's pretty good. Also good to know for competitive that that thing gets U-Turn. Barney, level 27. Getting hurt by the hail. Freaking ouch. Next is a Drizzile. Yo, you got all the... All the starters, huh? We could go into Barney and we can nuzzle it. It's not going to do very much damage because that thing's going to be high level to shit. And my team... My team is hurting. We're going to go into Barney. And I should probably, like, nuzzle it once, get a para, and then we we need to heal. We'll probably have to heal Surfetched, but... Drizz out. Does she have three Pokemon? Do you have all the starters? She does have three. Alright, so let's go for a nuzzle right off the bat. Get you a nice little para while doing a little bit of damage. Tearful look. How could you do that to a little baby? You bastard. Gonna lower our attack, so this nuzzle is gonna do less than it was going to in the first place. Does about nothing, but we do get a para. So that's good. Now we have a free turn. We got some time here to go ahead and heal up our surf -edged. I really should have healed healed the whole team. I came into this episode with my freaking snowball hurting as well. Honestly, didn't really expect to be doing many trainer battles, but we're gonna super potion you. Get you back to full. And we get the full para, which is nice. Also, the hail damage is going to be doing its thing, doing a little bit of damage. Couple rock smashes should do the job. We're going to switch here. We're going to hope that you get fully parried, please. All level 30 starters, so very, very solid squad you got here, lady. How'd you get all three of them, though? You know, something interesting that someone mentioned on Twitter. I forget who it was, but they were like, why are the starter Pokemon... They were saying something about how the starter Pokemon aren't even native to the actual region that they they come in. Like, the professor just imports these Pokemon. Because you can never find the uh, the starters in the actual region that you're playing the game of. It seems pretty weird. Pretty weird. Other than Let's Go, obviously you can find like Charmanders and Bulbasaurs and Squirtles in the wild. But in any other game, you can never find freaking starters anywhere. Which I think is weird. One more Rock Smash is going to do it. And last but not least is going to be the second form of Grookey. Which is something we haven't seen yet. So we're able to see... Uh, what they're working with that. Uh, I definitely should have healed the birdie boy. Thwacky is the name of <laughs> Grookey's evolution. Uh, Tootsie is fainted, which is terrible for us. And we're just going to go into Nugget, I guess, who's freaking paralyzed. Boy, I probably should have said no and prepared my team a little better here. We knew it was going to be an interesting battle, but man, this lady really really coming at us. A Thwacky. <laughs> it is level third. Oh my god, look at this thing. <laughs> Quite an interesting Pokemon here. We're just going to go right for a Flame Charge. No idea what this thing's going to do. Just Razor Leaf, which is neutral. Grookey just gets long. I guess all of them just get longer, to be honest. Flame Charge. That was a little bit of damage there. We get a Speed Boost. And being paralyzed is super annoying. But we know we can take one more hit. Let's go for another Flame Charge. Come on, buddy. Don't get crit, please. Nuggets. Thank you. And we break through. We also have enough health to be able to take another hail damage, but your boy's got to heal up here because we do not want to get thwacked by the thwacky. I really like Grookey. It was a tough decision figuring out what starter to use, man. I honestly, they all kind of grew on me. Grookey is legit though, our little monkey boy. All right, super potion. Get back to nearly full. Just gonna keep on hucking leaves. I like how he has two. He has two sticks now. Boy evolved and got himself an extra stick. Also, man, if we get, we're gonna get critted one of these times by freaking Razor Leaf, we need hyper potions too. We need hyper potions and ultra balls, please, Lord. Hey, we leave it with five. We break through the paralysis and the flame charge does it. So, quite a difficult battle there going up against uh, the three elemental types. Got them fire, water, grass. All level 32, which is scary. You must be pretty amazing to have beaten me. You're a regular wild area expert. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far, lady, but I'm, I'm kind of a big deal. You're crazy strong, too. I'll teach you a good trick, then. Heaps of items lying around the wild area that people have dropped. Go picking them up and selling them off. You can be flush with, ca with cash, too. 
I'll work on getting even stronger yet to come from me find me. So you can battle this lady again, apparently. She's probably gonna have the evolutions next time. So we need to we need to heal up here. We're gonna go ahead and super potion chiding. And I'm gonna super potion snowball too, because level 28 lad needs some needs some love. Also Let's use this max revive on Tootsie. Not sure. Actually, let's put Tootsie in front too. This thing never never gets enough love to be in front. Alright. So we're gonna do some more exploring here. And Jesus! Big old Golurk just comes out of nowhere. Hey buddy. I really wish another one of these things would be heckin' turned on. And what was that that just that was a uh, Siglyph, nice. Also we've entered into like a the Dusty Bowl, a whole new area, which is cool. Or like a different environment. I like how there's all different environments. Also, there's a, it's a, uh, a seismic toad thingy, a palpitoad, I think it's called. And then electrics, and then we run into a damn pelipper. So, a very strong looking pelipper, which I think is an indication of this thing's IVs, unless it's just really high level. I have no idea. I guess we'll find out. It is level 43. Yep, that boy is definitely real strong looking. We can't get away. Oh shit, we have Poke Ball Poke Dolls though, don't we? We could uh not Poke yeah, Poke Doll. Let's use a Poke Doll. It allows you to run from any battle. And we're not gonna mess around. Not gonna rest or mess around with that boy. That's that thing is scary. I like this environment. Kind of like doesn't seem to be any I always mash that way too many times. Yo, these electrics are freaking coming for Oh my Jesus, I just got straight dive bombed by a bravery. A very strong looking one also damn that was fucking spooky imagine just getting straight dive bombed by an eagle that's the size of you this thing's a little 54 so guess what we're pokey dolling again we have only have five of these things i guess i gotta be careful man these things could uh could do some serious damage if you get caught in a battle with those anyway just trying to see what other Stuff we might find in the grass. There's another one of the early game foxes. Grab some watts there. We are stacked up on the watts. Hey, Rhydon, looking sweet. And we got some like dead, little dead forest area over here. Kind of waiting for the big things to pop up just to see what is possible to get. There's an item over here. That lady was saying there's a bunch of hidden items. I haven't really seen much. There's probably been a bunch that I've missed. We got a sunstone though, so that's cool. Lots of, uh, a lot of palpitoads, man. They're freaking everywhere. What else we got over here? So many toads. Ah. Okay. We're just gonna... Hey, Shuckle. What's up, buddy? Shuckle's just in the middle. He doesn't even hang out in the grass. He's all by himself. Poor little feller. Okay, we should click on you. Grab 50 watts from ya. Bunch of coughings everywhere. There's freaking electrics, too. No shortage of electrics. That's a that's what you're into. You know where to come. Okay, so still going the right direction. We're kind of just taking our time getting up there, but essentially, oh, oh, the bravery right there. We gotta fucking look out for that dude. Please, I don't want any trouble, sir. I don't want any trouble. Here we have the giant's mirror. So this is a whole new area as well, and it is back to being stormy as hell. So. I really wish I could get to the middle there. Hey, there's a Gloom. We haven't seen Gloom yet. We have seen Oddish, though, so I guess... Same, same, but different. Stony Wilderness. So we're basically just changing areas here. This would be interesting to do a Nuzlocke of this game, just to kind of... Because every area... Oh my god, that Sneasel right on my tail. Oh god, he's still coming at me. Um, yeah, doing a Nuzlocke would be interesting, because you can really kind of choose what... Uh, Pokemon you want if you come into the wild area, which is actually kind of cool. It gives you much more variation. You just got to make sure that nothing dive bombs on you like that bravery or even pheasant right there. I should probably so a lot of the time you can run into stuff that uh, when the exclamation point comes up, you can just find entirely new stuff. So maybe I should do that some of these times. Hey, there's Gastrodon in the water too, and a Shellos over there too. Oh, there's a hidden item. Pungent root, nice. What's up, Fisher lady? Fished up something brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Want my brilliant find for a brilliant bargain of just 100 watts? Sure. It's gonna be a freaking Magikarp. Oh, no, it's a big pearl. Okay, that was worth that was worth 100 watts. I thought this lady was gonna give me a carp. Hmm. 
Well, that's kind of cool. We can sell that for a bunch of money. It's worth 100 watts. Click, just click on two of those. Oh my god, Machamp. Do not want to heck with that guy. That Machamp is looking intimidating. Oh, we're going to grab this one over here. I really should be on my bicycle, but I kind of just like taking my time walking. Grab 50 there, and then when we grab the 50 over here, we just got a big pearl for free. I was seriously expecting the carpet. There's a Zatu right there, so that's something new. I kind of wish it, wish it was a sunny day out here, though. It seems like it, it would be a lot more beautiful if it was just sunny. But you know, the, rain, the rain and the storm is actually pretty cool, too. So, what the hell is that? What a little little thing right here. Is that a Joltik? I think it was. Little Joltik. When you get close to walls, the camera gets all messed up. Also, there was a, there was a sparkling item right here. I didn't miss that one. Got a tiny mushroom. Can sell that for a little bit of money, I think. And a vile plume. Hey, buddy. I love vile plume. He just he just waves it waves at me. He's like, hey, how's it going? Also, there's a pumpkin boo, and you ask and you shall receive. Now it's sunny. And there's also some maractus here. I remember when we first found out about the fact that the Pokedex was gonna be cut. Everybody was like, what am I gonna do without my maractus? Like jokingly, making fun of the babies that were mad about it. <laughs> and maractus actually ended up making it into the game, which is hilarious. Level 31 Wimpod. This thing is a freaking beast. Why are you such a high level Wimpod? You got no business being out here at such a high level. Am I underleveled at this point? Like, I should maybe have battled a lot more in here or something. We're gonna pluck it just to kill it, just to get a little bit more experience, which is good. But hot damn. Barney grows to level 28. Two more, and I believe we evolve. We're finally getting close. This one looks extra glowy. But it's not, it's just sunny as hell. Some pseudo widows. Yeah, see how much better it looks when it's sunny out? Hey, there's a Halucha also. That's pretty sweet. We love us some Halucha. There's another one of them birdie boys. And a Wobbuffet. Sudowoodo is freaking everywhere. My god, the Sudowoodo is really coming packs. And uh, I thought that was a Yam Mask, but it's just another Pumpkaboo. I wish there was another another Max Raid somewhere. Is there like a certain amount you can do a day or something? Can I only do one? I highly doubt it, but... So, that's where we're headed. Uh, we're going to explore a little bit around the entrance of it. Just before we head on up there. We can see the very top of one of them beams way over behind the bridge, uh, behind that mountain over there. But that is entirely too far. We're not running our little legs over that way. We've got a berry tree over here. Might as well shake it and grab a couple berries, I suppose. Yes, we shall shake. One berry on the ground. That's not enough. Oh, wow. The only one came and then... Oh my god, it's a Greedent. It's the evolved form of the, uh, <laughs> the freaking squirrel. This is the fattest squirrel I've ever seen. Holy shit, this guy is eating good living up in this berry tree. Level 28. I'm running from you. I really don't want any trouble. And I didn't mean to steal your berries. <laughs> it took the poke. It took the berries too. Damn it, or something did. Heck. Well, at least we saw something new from the berry tree. That was crazy. Hey, there's a clink clang right there. Or a clink. Or one, of, one of them little fellers. Yep, that's a clink clang. Very interesting. Also a Diggers Bee and uh, a bunch of Digger Bees. And also we have some Carcoles too. With a Vanilla. So now it's snowing. It went from sunny to snowing in like one second. Damn it, this freaking Lanoon came at me. Got young Gene Simmons out here. Let me go ahead and run from you. Kind of annoying that hail happens and then unnerve happens. Couldn't get away. Why? How fast is this thing? Please let me run from you. I really should battle you, but it's just going to take me like three hits to kill you. We got the time. Second try is a charm. We could grab the 50 watts from over there, but I'm just going to see what else there is over this way. Doesn't seem like a whole lot. Hey, a Dewblade. The Sword and Shield mascot is here. I don't really want to encounter those things because they're just still, they're too high level for us. We're going to have a bad time. What do we have down that way? So I don't think we can get to there until we can, uh, until we can like surf or ride our bicycle on the water, whatever it is in this game. Go from sun to snow yet again. It's like we're, it's like we're in Colorado right now. It's literally what it's like. Also, I thought there was. Yep, there's an energy root right there. Nice. We'll snag up a free energy root any day, boys. Get the 50 watts from there. A dreadnought. Nice. So I feel like I've pretty effectively explored this place. I don't know. There's definitely a lot more to see. But we're gonna come back. I'm assuming at some point when we're higher level, that way we can take on a lot of the other Pokemon that, like the scary boys. Hello, sir. 
What would you like to do? Spend my watch, the Rotom Rally, a makeover, improve my bike? Improve my bike. Let me give your bike some extra power. I can make it charge up and turbo boost faster. Cost you a thousand watt though. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do that. It's a lot. We already go pretty damn fast when we're turbocharged. That's pretty crazy. What the hell is this thing? New ladybug Pokemon? Hold up. An orb beetle. I have never seen one of these things. Yo. It's going to be too high a level to catch, but... Ore Beetle. Instead of giving Ladian a better form, they just, just give you an Ore Beetle. I kind of want to just see what this thing does. It's going to use After You, uh, which is interesting. Dude, I did not expect to see you. Free my boy Ladian, though. Okay, so Pluck's going to do a decent amount. If we kill this thing, we'll get a lot of experience. I feel like it's probably worth just going for the KO on this thing. Going to use After You, so now it's going to Pluck. Took the offer. Why did that not work the first time? I like never use after you. So it's getting hurt by the hail. A couple more plucks and we got this thing as good as dead. I really wish I could catch it. We're gonna try to catch it just to see what happens, but people did tell me um, that trying to catch Pokemon that are higher level than you, you can't do, which is a freaking bummer because I would love this thing. I would give you a great home home or beetle. It's actually not, I mean, I guess it is a ladybug, but. He's a beetle. All right, let's try to throw a great ball and see what happens here. Can't throw a Pokeball, won't let its guard down. Damn it. That is a freaking bummer, man. Now this thing's actually just going to finish me off with a Psychic, which does suck. Um, is this thing Psychic Bug? Or is it Bug Flying? What is it? What are you? I really wish I could catch you. i get hurt by the hail. And one more hail turn. It is going to kill it. Should we go into Barney? We're going to go into Barney. It's probably just going to use Psychic and kill me. But if it doesn't, Barney gets the primary experience from this thing. That would be amazing. Let's just use Nuzzle. It's, I wish I had Protect. It's going to use After You. Nice. Look at Barney. Coming out here. Doing the damn thing. Nuzzle, is this even going to be enough? It sure is. The Orb Beetle faints. Got a cool little animation on its spots too. Uh, so we get some solid experience there. Barney's going to grow to 29. Uh, Chiding to level 30. Snowball to 29 as well. Chiding wants to learn Knock Off. Ooh, we learning that for sure. Uh, nice little dark move. It is a little bit better than... Better than Brutal Swing. Um, Brutal Swing actually, for double battles, damages the Pokemon next to you, I, I think. That's what that was saying. Now we have Knock Off, though, so that's cool. The competitive strats. One more level and Barney is going to grow. All right. Um, was there anything else for me to do in this corner over here? I think we're pretty much just going to head up the stairs now. We've we've had a good, uh, good like, 30 minutes of exploring this place. See how my, my bicycle's already fast as hell. I didn't... Re oh, Jesus. I fucking ran... Dreadnought spawned right in front of me. This was a terrible idea. We're gonna need to poke doll this thing Because Nugget does not want anything to do uh, With you sir. It's actually only level 36. We could definitely just Probably run from it normally, but we're just gonna use a pokeball because pokey doll because we have it <laughs> And that is fine. All right We need to get to a damn pokey center That is pretty much the primary objective at this point because we hurt and it's gonna be interesting to see what the whole next place is like as well. I'm gonna grab grab some watts from you briefly. Fucking damn it, Lanoon. These things are quick as hell. They just jump right at you. There's nothing you can do. You cannot stop these things. Should we kill this while we're here? Nope, we should not, because Nugget is about dead as hell and paralyzed and we couldn't get away. It's gonna use rest. We're gonna like die from, we're gonna die from the hail damage. Bruh. I can never escape the first time. Nugget, you're too slow. We're going to click run again. We get away safely that time, though. We're not letting you die, buddy. We're not letting you die. All right, we got to just make sure I don't run into any big things, and we'll be okay. Like that cling cling. Could have just poked, could just poke you doll out of the way, but... All right, looks like we have made it safely. We're going to go ahead and... Actually, were these people here last time? Maybe I didn't even see them. I don't know. We're going to prompt a... A cutscene anyway. Ah, gym challenger. Allow me to check your gym badges. Is this literally the gym? The grass badge. The water badge. And the fire badge. It's confirmed that he defeated three gym leaders, including uh, the leader of Motostoke. Wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Is this just... Oh, dude. Am I about to have to battle Beatty? It's you. I doubt Hop will stop... Well, I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural. Is that what he said? No, I was not reading correctly. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he can look at the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Ooh. Beatty just gave Hop the hands? Just look at the gym badges. I've already won. 
Thank you, Challenger Beatty. Confirm you have the required badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Oh, thank God we're not, we don't have to battle. Whew, so that is good. Um, meeting with the chairman, huh? This guy makes it seem like that's the gym right there. Also, what's up with you? What would you like to do? Spend my watts? We are just going to talk to you real quick. Love to cook. Come to the right place. Got all the finest ingredients. Um, we can actually buy some sausages. Hell yeah, we're going to buy some sausages. $400, some expensive-ass sausages. Also, tin of beans, salad mix, spice mix, Bob's food tin, and brittle bones. Let's get some spice mix to go with our sausages. We're not going to spend too much more money on that. We have 70 grand. I'm waiting to absolutely get pimped out when I can get some new clothes. Here's a hidden item right here. It's a great ball. We'll take a free great ball. Hell yeah. All right, time to head up and see what is going on with this, this place. Is this about to be the dragon gym? It looked like there was a dragon face. Should I be afraid? I should probably be afraid. What is poppin'? So, Hammerlock. Looking like a sweet-ass castle. And there is a clothing shop. Yes. So we got a lot of stuff to check out here, it seems. Damn, Hammerlock is amazing looking. Alright, I like the design of this place a lot. So there's a bunch to do. First things first, we're going right to the Poke Center, and we need to get nice and healed up, because we took a beating out there. The wild area is not forgiving. We could have camped and healed up and all that stuff. I, I mean, I have a bunch of super potions as well. I'm assuming we're not going to be able to get hyper potions until the end of the next gym, which is a bummer, but let's just see what this guy's got for us. Congratulations, Nia. Oh, he can get some more. So we are here to buy, and we can't get much else. What, the, what was this guy saying? We could buy Poke Dolls now? We're going to get some more Super Potions. We have... 15 in our bag. We'll have we'll end up with 20. It's probably good. Also going to get some more Great Balls. That was good. Like 7 more. Making a nice clean 30. Alright. We're probably all set there. Now it is time. So we can go straight down the middle. We could probably prompt some stuff to happen. There's the Chairman's right there. But let's do a little bit more exploring around this place and kind of see what they have to offer. Hiya! Or hi... <laughs> you saying hiya or hiya? Call me Mr. Focus. So focused and super strong. Are you up for a challenge? Um... No. Well, we actually have our Corvus Squire in front. This guy's probably going to have some fighting types. You know what? Let's just do it. We need all the experience we can get. Why not? What's up, friend? Super strong guy, huh? This guy's just going to battle me in his living room, huh? Probably not the best idea, Black Belt Brian. He has a Cottony, which is not a fighting type, but it still gives us the type of advantage of flying, so that, that's fine. Also, we hate to see that Cottony's in, in this game. Whimsy Cot. Annoying as hell. Level 2? What? What? This guy just really come at me with a level 2 cottony? He said he was strong. How did that not kill it? That oh, has a focus sash, doesn't it? He's going to give us a focus sash at the end of this battle, aren't you? Oh, now he's going to use Endeavor. Does this thing get access to quick attack? He probably does. Oh, dude, this guy thinks he's going to bust some shit on me? Hold up. Not on my watch, buddy. He might even, even just Endeavor again. If he predicts the switch and Endeavors again, I'm going to be upset. Oh my god, he did! <laughs> I thought you were going to just use an attack. Wow. Okay, well now we just nuzzle it. I thought for sure he was going to just endeavor and then priority move. And this guy really about got me. Holy shit. That was scary. You're level 2 Cottony. <laughs> the focus ass strategies. You won the battle of focus. Get $128 too. This guy even cheaps out on his money. Well, you've been surprised? There's so many ways to battle. I'll pass this Focus Ash on to you because you're so focused. Yeah, he does give us the Focus Ash, which is cool. So now we don't have to worry about getting one hit KO'd. Gonna definitely use that a lot in competitive battles. We love Focus Ashes. Alright. Probably need to heal again, but we're, I don't think we're gonna get ourselves into too many... Too many more battles. Anyway, what is happening over here? These clothes I'm wearing, you're giving to me back when I was a student. They're made from durable Pokemon Silks, I believe. They'll last a good while yet. Cool. Well, let's head into here and see how much money we can freaking spend. What's up, lady? Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find? All right. Faded sweatshirt. Looking pretty normal. We're going to go right to the hoodies. I want a fresh new hoodie. We've got the tracksuit jackets. Do we want to go hoodie? Oh, the zippered parka? Okay. That's kind of fresh. Another pretty dope zippered parka. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, should I snag this parka? That 
boy do be kind of fresh though. I don't know. Or do I just go with a regular regular shirt? It's under my under my hoodie. There's really nothing too crazy in here though. Boat neck sweatshirt. Let's get <laughs> let's get this tracksuit, man. Or the uh, the zippered parka. I think this one's sick. 15 grand hot damn. Well we came here to spend money, so that's fine. And alright, next up is some pants. Do we need new bottoms? Not really anything too crazy there. We're, we're sticking with the faded jeans. Um, we need a new hat, though. We can rock the sports cap, which is kind of fresh. The water style. Can get all the different types. Also, the bucket hats, though. Schoolboy Q up in here. Mm, I don't know. I think I'd rather just keep the beanie. We probably should rock some sunglasses, though. I don't know about the sport ones. We're looking like a damn jabroni with the sports ones. Hmm, I kind of like the black on black. Kind of like the black on the modeled black. A, hey, hold up, we're copping these. 12 grand? Fuck it. We're made of money. Putting these on at once. And no gloves available, so we're done shopping for now. We spent some decent money, but we look a whole lot cooler, so I think that was definitely worth it. <laughs> also, what is this place? Can we go in here? We sure can. Got a little cafe. Welcome to the Battle Cafe. You can battle here once a day. If you win, we'll give you a treat on the house. Do you want to battle? Hmm, I don't think we want to battle quite yet, do we? We're going to hold off on that. We can come back here and do some battles later, but I want to see what else there is. Got another shop here. We can grab a haircut here. Should we grab a fresh cut? I mean, we have the beanie on. We're not going to do any haircuts. I'm sticking with the long hair and the beanie. Also, we got a hidden item here, which is a super repel. Nice. What are you doing, buddy? Been told the Hammerlock's Gym Stadium is located right in the center of the Gallet region. Cool. So I think that's pretty much it for this area. A lot of people buy replicas of Leon's uniform, but nobody can wear it because the cape's too heavy. <laughs> Heard that Meowth of the Gallet region look different than the Meowth of Kanto or Lola. It is indeed called the regional form. Oh, there is actually a bridge here. So where is this going to take us to? Is this... Got a different, a different Poké Center over here. This is weird. Three X attacks. And, uh, what do we have here? Excuse me, you need permission to enter the vaults here in Hammerlock. Well, damn. Can I enter the vaults? Right on against Castrodon. I'm at a disadvantage in terms of tight matchup, but experience is on my side. Now you're about to get destroyed by a Scald, sir. Just gonna get absolutely smashed by a Scald. Hey, you. You heard the rumor? Uh, I haven't. You haven't heard? There's a rumor that if you give the one you like an Applin, you'll be de together forever. Actually, the truth is, there's someone I like. She's going to move overseas pretty soon. Been searching for an Applin so I can get my feelings across the right way. Maybe we bring an Applin to that guy. I do not have one. I know where to get him, though. It's actually in the same area that we got our Farfetch'd. Or at least that's what someone was saying. Also, there's a whole new area down here. What's going on? Moves that only select Pokemon can learn. They're called Battle Combo Moves. Do you want your Pokemon to learn one of them? Sure. Which Pokemon should learn any move? Uh, only Dexter can. What do you got for me, buddy? Which move should be forgotten? Uh, water gun, probably. What are you going to teach me? Like hydro cannon or something? Learned water pledge. Oh, it's the pledge moves. Okay. Well, I guess that's kind of cool. Water pledge definitely what better than water gun. What base power is water pledge anyway? Uh, Tootsie, you're, you're, wait, no, hold up. Dexter. I, I was lost. I need an adult. All right, water pledge is 80 power. Column of water hits the target when used with its fire equivalent. Power increases and a rainbow appears. So, better than water pulse. Nice, now we have Water Pledge. Looking powerful. Drizzile. So this next bridge we're probably not going to be able to go across because there's some douchebag. Oh, it's the Team Yell people. Can't you see we're practicing our chance here? Alright, so we cannot do anything there. So I guess it's time to basically just head into uh, the area right down the middle and I guess see what's going on there. I do like the castle of this place, man. Super cool, old school looking castle. Um, we're going to heal up, though, because the team hurts. We be out here hurting. Thank you for the heals. That Endeavor really got me. Like <laughs> I knew there had to be some gimmick. This guy says he has a strong Pokemon and then tosses out a freaking level 2. Like, Why you got to be like that, boy? It's kind of cool to show you how Focus Ash works, though. A lot of people probably seeing Focus Ash for the first time. They're like, what the hell is that? Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. You're a, little, you're a freaking teacher's pet, man. Good work, Beatty. Glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. 
If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you, right, Mr. Chairman? What's the problem? Not just about me, it's for the future of the whole Galar region. We need more than just wishing stars. We need a powerful Pokemon trainer, too. Someone like the champion. Mm -hmm. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion endorsed his trainers, just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. Oh, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit, buddy. Hey, he said it, too. It takes healthy competition to really get the gym challenge energized. John Chibiti, is there, something, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? Ooh, they're going to go off and do a, have, a little, have a little private conversation, huh? Well, shoot, dang. And he's going to come up to us. He's like, you eavesdropping, kid? Hope you were listening. I didn't know he, he hopes I was eavesdropping. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that have been attached to your Dynamax bands. Okay. More to wishing stars than just making your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. I'm curious. You should head to the stadium. In fact, you should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Galar region gets its energy. Well, then. We are about to... Head on straight. But we're going to have to do that next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.